I know. Every woman has had to go through this. Hair trouble, right? Sometimes I don't know why I don't put oil in it. Ouch. But did you know? <clears throat> not only Mary... Not only Mary Kay had hair products. But it was Madam C.J. Walker that had, was the first black person to create products for them. Exactly. So, here's the thing. We also need to talk about it with relations. You know how certain societies, they feel like kinky hair is not loved, right? You're wrong. See, half of the problem stems with women hating their hair. Starts with the men. When you have men who don't really like to acknowledge. Wait a minute, lady. Move. Move. Ladybug. Now, didn't nobody tell you to interrupt me while I'm trying to do something now? She, But you know how she gets, she gonna want to be jumping and bumping and rubbing. And she, okay. This is my ladybug. I get that. I was just trying to do something. Okay, lady, I need you to sit down. Go over there and be still, please. Thank you. As I was saying, that is my baby. She always jumping into mommy's conversations for no reason. Anyway, I said sit down, did I not? Exactly, so don't move no more. Don't be acting a fool while I'm on this camera. Don't be forgetting. Okay, anyway. I'm not trying to blame it on men, but the main, excuse me. <clears throat> I had way too much soda last night. Forgive me. The reason why a lot of people, especially in the black community, get hated for their hair is because of the men. And here's why. About 95% of the music industry back in the early 80s and 90s was always parading women with the long hair, the light skin, the, the woman. And if you were dark skin, you had to have long hair. What's wrong with just having hair? Why does it have to be long for you to love her? Or is that just your insecurity? Because my thing is, if I said, oh, I like a man with a six pack, but you had a beer gully. A beer, a beer belly. Am I going to sit here and keep saying what I want instead of encouraging you to lose the weight? That's what I'm saying. We got a lot of people that like to tear down women about their hair, but won't nourish it for them to grow their hair. Because believe it or not, whether it's a fro or as fragile as mine is because I've dyed it so many times, there's no reason to hate somebody just because of their hair. Not only that, Madam C.J. Walker was the first African-American to bootstrap. And what bootstrapping is, is when you take your product and do it by foot. Now, my teacher from uh, Principles of Entrepreneurship didn't believe it. But <clears throat> if it wasn't the case, we wouldn't have Madam C.J. Walker on Indiana Avenue. I'm just saying. So, did I tell you to sit down and you keep trying to get into my conversations? Look, I'll play with you later. I need you to go sit down. Okay, go sit down. Try to have a conversation with the people and you keep trying to push your way through. Lady, go sit down. Move. Move. Because you need a bath and you stink. Go sit down. Sit down. children don't ever listen to their parents for nothing anyway the thing about it is i ain't blaming men for stuff but i'm just trying to tell y'all you guys if the bible says you are the priest of the home you're supposed to pray for the weaker vessel don't tear her down because her hair isn't long and her hair might not be not right now my hair is completely damaged you see this is like three inches of new growth all of this is new growth this is the damaged part so here's the thing in our community we have a history of thinking that the only way we can be beautiful is by perming your hair now if you need a perm 
let the Lord use you. You know what I'm saying? Because don't sit there and pretend like you can do this and then you can't come through it next week. <laughs> do what you need to do, whatever you're used to. But I'm just saying for the ones that are natural, like, don't tear somebody down just because they don't look like you. We are not going to have the long, luxurious Brazilian weave. That's not who we are. We are different for a reason. Half of the reason why folks want to tan and be like us. I'm not going to sit here and go through all this craziness. Now, maybe one day, because my hair is falling out, I might have to go and wear a wig. I might have to wig it a couple times. But even in that, I'm not going to sit here and stop being me just because somebody wants me to be white. And this is not to hate white people at all.